Ah, the first day of spring. What a beautiful time of the year. Oh, it's just so nice to be outdoors. This is all right. This is okay. I like this. Oh, take a big breath of air. Just get that fresh air in your lungs. Mm -mm. Oh, that feels good for my respiratory system. I, I should play some music. Yeah. I know what Spotify's got on. New music playlist. Yeah. Oh, this song sounds like a banger. I'm gonna, yeah, bang this one. Oh, honey, honey. Mm hmm. You got my heart in lock, yeah. Uh -huh. You got my heart in lock, yeah. You got my heart, my heart, my heart in lock down, yeah. What? You got it in lock, lock, lock down. Oh, my heart. Huh? That's kind of weird. What do they mean they got my heart in lockdown? Don't you just normally say your heart in lock? That's a weird choice of. Oh, well, I don't know. Next song, I guess. <laughs> Baby, oh baby, you're my queen. Yeah, baby, you treat me so mean. Oh yeah, you're my mean, nasty. Quarren, queen, quarren, queen. What the fuck? Uh -huh. Mean and nasty with me in quarantine. We're huh? quarantine. Oh, what the fuck? That's so weird. Are they sick? What? What's the quarren queen? Why are they in quarantine? Oh my. <laughs> Next song, please. Yeah, bro. Uh huh. Ya say ya straight, ya say ya tough. Or maybe I shall treat ya right. Oh yeah, that's better. I ain't no bitch, son, and I ain't no snitch. I ain't scared of your pandemic. What? The your vaccine fuck? ain't gonna make me twitch. Yeah, I'm sick, sick. Yeah, I'm sick. Virus sick. There's a virus, bruv. Oh my god, what's going on? I gotta get home. I gotta find out why no one's. What are all these people singing about? Oh, shit, there are masks everywhere. I gotta get out of here. This is terrifying. I, whoa, my I, I do not feel safe right now. I should not have listened to music today. Oh my god, this is crazy. Holy fucking shit. What's going on? I was outside and they were singing about it. Something, something crazy is happening out there. There's a quarantine queen. There's a lockdown. I don't understand. So unsafe. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Oh, I'm losing my mind. What do I do, what do I do? Oh, the internet. Yes, the internet. 2020. What? There's a virus, a pandemic, a lockdown. This sounds really serious. It's been going on since January? January? Wait a minute, January? You mean this has been going on for 10 months and people are still singing about it? Don't they think everyone's sick of hearing about it? And they're making dancey pop tunes as well? Who, who can dance right now? No, no, they wouldn't do that to us. They wouldn't all make a song about it. 2020 music. Oh no. They've all made a song about it. This is crazy, this is insane, I'm freaking out. I need to calm down, I need to chill out. I need to, I need to review an album. Today we're reviewing Belgium Gold Trans compilation The Sound of Belgar with artwork done by everyone's favourite fun man Peter Pan and tracks like Disinfect Trance, Are You Infected, Quartz Quarantine, Lockdown Syndrome, Still Don't Give a Cough and Pandemania This Album Is A Sign Of The Times but it's a banging sign of the times. With a diverse range of sounds, styles and wizardous formulas Belgar The Compilation gets you moving to wherever you gotta go if you've got anywhere to be. There are 15 tracks here, all released under collaboration between the artists, which is sweet and melts my insides with gamma rays of nuclear warmth. No record label, just a bunch of people with a lot of time on their hands. You may or may not have heard of them all, I certainly hadn't, and I'm not sure if it's a bunch of artists who've all come from different subgenres under the power of Goa, but I like to think that's exactly what it is, and have therefore pulled the wool over my eyes, buried my head in the sand and not done my own research. I reckon we should start this off the way all good counters would. With track number one, Disinfect Trance. Classic title. I really do love it. I haven't heard of Goantan, Fante or Aya before, but I'm glad they're here to vibrate all these germs away from me with their music. One listen to this and all my surfaces are instantly cleaner. I'm 1.5 meters away from things and I'm fucking terrified of public transport. Unfortunately, my hand sanitizer is also always 1.5 meters away from me at all times, as per some instruction from somewhere. And I'm having panic attacks by not being able to place mild amounts of pressure onto its supple handle so that I can squeeze out a bio-microorganism of a malady to rub all over myself with the drive that I both lose and find myself in. Kind of like this track. 
and I'm okay with that. Fantastic opening track. <laughs> Mini Spaces up next with Bliffin' You Cot, which makes me want to bliff in my... Cot. <laughs> Bliffin' You Cot means stay in your house in case you didn't believe this was a Belgium Goa trans compilation with constant references to a pandemic. Love that for us. Start Strong is overall a great track. Once or twice it did fall a little bit flat in the brakes and gave me the urge to take off my mask in the middle of the supermarket. But I got over those urges pretty quickly. And it was that flat earthiness that made the oncoming drop so much more rewarding and fun to listen to. The intro news anchor bit was pretty cool too and sounded like something off a zombie apocalypse movie but instead it's just from the, the news. Still cool though. Well the question does remain, what does Onmat have to say about the current state of the world right now? Well it's hard to know for sure. But probably. There's a lot of information out there and I'm a little confused. Well if the information overload is overwhelming you and you do decide to stay in your house then on Mac make sure you're gonna drive your neighbours up the fucking walls with his track Quartz Quarantine. Some of the hardest riffs I've heard in a few days and a track that's impossible to miss. Kinda like all these fucking stats about curves that I've got. Gesso is another name I haven't heard of before, here with the track Pandamania. Any other time in history I would have thought Gesso's trying to get this song in the next Kung Fu Panda soundtrack. However, the curse of being awoken by a stranger on Twitter means that I can see the world for the Freemason Illuminati run. Flat earthed field that it is. And I can see this track for what it is. An alright one. That takes a while to take off but eventually does so with only a hint of chemtrails behind it. Mayra's track Unfolding Truths makes me see the world from an objective place of reason, poise and delight. Just kidding. That's really fucking terrifying and I don't know what's what. Well, I do know one what. What Mayra wants is want not for what is wanted when we want for wicked want. Rather more like what is wanted for when we want for warm unwillful want. What? Yeah actually, I was surprised that she came at us with a trance track. Still new to the overall scene, I only know her from a couple of ambient and down tempo releases. But you can tell just from listening to the artist's softer works and now this one, that she has no problem filling you with the light of the vibrational frequencies of 5G. An absolute favourite and one I could easily continue complimenting if I wasn't late for this damn lockdown protest. Fuck yeah, down with fashion, fascism. Packed a lacquer, slides off Mayra's vibrations and into a pounding world of chaos with nothing to guide us but a four on the floor kick. The storm flies saddle brown golden leads around peripherously grey azure slates of the winds that carry riff after riff with them. Starts big, ends bigger. Mm-hmm, Pete and Pan, my good friends. These guys are sweethearts and deserve all the love and fun in the world. Sanctuary did take a while to get me on its side. It felt like it was a song that didn't quite make it into their debut album Return of the Goddess. But that's the beautiful thing about an album. It can have a wider creative concept that eventually must be broken so the creative mind of the artist can fly and find its way into a new sanctuary. Subsequent listens have opened the beauty up to me. The intro and outro is just delightful and their grubby little unsanitized fingerprints are all over the rest of this track which means you can expect fun and enjoyment along the spectrum of bright greens, golds, blue azures and neon purples. Love these guys. On Mind and Mini Space are up next with their track Call of the Wild. On Mind is the number one big bombala and Mini Space have proved himself to be not a half bad oil painter before as well. And a Bob Ross painting may be the closest thing we can get to the wild right now. Well, some of us. I don't believe for a second that a couple of bad boys like this ain't out there raving with their friends somewhere. And you know what? I hope that they are. Because the world needs its rebels. Sapiens who are brave enough to stand up and say no. You will not stop me from dancing with my friends in a basement. Probably not going to hear anyone on news media say that anytime soon. Four cases over there and six cases over there. Twelve cases over there. I hope that some bad bumblers are raving in a basement with their friends somewhere right now. This has been the news. Uh, fuck, I got that wrong too. Well, at least someone out there is having some fundamental interaction. Which is crazy that we'd even say that because the next track by Unknown Sources is called Fundamental Interaction. And what do you say about such enjoyment? I guess that's my job to figure out. Okay, well, um, I can say something about it. I like when a track follows a solid theme. The undertoned wobbly sheet metal phased synths are always there with you and drive this track forward as much as the kick drum does. It gives it a really low-key drive that I can easily funk out to. Easy. Oh yeah, and if I could only pick between this and the drone state theatre performance of Kev Komodi's River of Tears at the Cannot Buy My Soul concert, then I'd say fuck it, and just take both. A surprisingly easy thing to do. <coughs>
Ah, dragon twins. Not to be confused with the real twin, just one guy, Mateus Pico, who I'm sure as fuck is sick of hearing that comment be made about him. Luckily, the dude doesn't <coughs> give a cock, but he does give a retro groove. This is an artist that knows how to have a good time, loves a bit of analogue, and creates avant-garde spaces for all the curves and layers in the track so that they can fly around in a way that even the best health authorities would not be able to flatten. Exogen sounds like an artist I have heard of before, but I'm also sure no one here is surprised that we have a psychedelic artist with a name like Exogen. Are You Infected is the name of the track. Be careful though, because not only will this track infect you with the tiresome emails of a hell's not very well-known administrator, Adremelech. Gotta sign those emails if you want people to know your name, Adremelech, you little fuck. But it will also infect you with the not-so-deadly sins of badass basslines, Electrifying Zap, Cerberus's Deafening Howls, Cat and Nine Tail Leads, Behemoth Tooting Horns, The Shaggy Polluter Spiked Frills, and Number 7, which is, I don't know, Asmodo's Sex Dungeon. None of which are actual sins if you find yourself in Beezlebub's fractalized cave of rave with an opus quadraphonic sound system. Actually a very intimate experience. <laughs> Tiny B is Binary Bliss's contribution to the compilation, the country Belgium, and the world of music at large. That's a big ass weight to have on your shoulders, dude. But allow me to lift this newfound weight from your shoulders with the power of compliments. It was a good, nice track. Nah, oh yeah, it hypnotizes you with its deep grooves right until the climax turns and comes at you with an intensity that our healthcare system simply are not prepared for. One of the things you have to understand about electronic music is that there are tracks, and Dionysus' Lockdown Syndrome is a track. Yeah, nah, oi, it's a top track though. The bassline is the kind of bassline that you don't really notice, but there's so much going on above the surfaces of the low ends and the mids and the highs that perhaps the show off bassline was never necessary to begin with. I swear I'm not in love with basslines or anything. But also I kind of am. Ah, uh, anyway, it's a great track that inflates me to a place where I feel like some kind of fucking authority on baselines and government pandemic policy. Speaking of government policy, <laughs> just kidding. Baselines. Globox creates one that rolls off the khaki kick drums in a swirl of Sicilian semi -fredo. But it doesn't stop there. An eccentric couple of layers team up and well, you know what happens when a couple of eccentrics get together, yeah? Oh, you don't know? Shit. Uh, you want me to tell you? Oh, shit. Well, ah, uh, where do I start? They get all like, you know, cool and shit. The almost melancholic lower melody gives this track another dimension. However, Globox couldn't come up with a pandemic related track title, so no points there. Voidu, on the other hand, certainly named his track Curse Crown in support of, well, any cause whatsoever. There's always a Curse Crown in any movement, and Voidu doesn't shy away from it, but instead embraces the dastardly thing, and makes it all worthwhile during the last three minutes, where he maintains a crimson gold lead the size of a fucking fire truck that drives over your facts and your feelings for a moment of chaotic peace. Oh fucking yeah, that's how you land a compilation on the tarmac. Now, considering we all have to deal with the daily bullshit of all the bullshit that's going on, I think it's fair to say that we don't have a lot of reasons to be optimistic right now. Other than the sapiens' natural inclination to be so. Go us! But the point is, let's just pretend I'm not some happy guy on the internet who likes everything with relations to sonic vibrations. Let's pretend this compilation really is as good as they say. A collection of unique and carefully crafted formulas for a bunch of vaccines that half of us don't even want. What? Oh, that's not the impression that you got from listening to this compilation? My bad. I thought we were listening to the same compilation. I guess not. Well, maybe there's someone out there who can summarise it better than I could. If, for example, you were DJ Lurkalo on Bandcamp, you might say, this is definitely one of the best pure Goa trance compilations 2020 has to offer so far. 15 brilliant tracks, each of them unique in their own way, as it should be. Highly recommended. Favourite track, Pete and Pan Sanctuary. Oh look, there's some asshole called Sotsi above him who says, a great range of styles and sounds. This is the only release that has acceptably used the pandemic for fun track titles and inspiration. Also, Dragon Twins, I mean, come on, who thought that were gonna pop up here? Much loved. Favourite track, unmapped, Quartz Quarantine. But also undoubtedly Mera for that gripping symphony of drive, power and atmosphere. The track is a pandemic that would lock a crowd down into the seventh wave of a movie.